One of my favorite stories of how to create a great corporate culture comes from David Novak. Some of you might know David Novak because he used to be an executive at Pepsi. When it comes to corporate culture, David told me this story how he used to be an executive at, at, uh, at Pepsi many, many years ago. And he told me that he was in over his head. And uh, what he did is he brought together a team of 12 merchandisers. And he says, who's the best merchandiser that we have here? And one by one, everybody went around the table and they said, you gotta talk to Bob. Bob is the best merchandiser that we have. Everybody loves Bob, Bob's amazing. And David says, all right. I'm gonna go talk to Bob. And he sees Bob sitting at the end of the table and Bob is crying. And David's like, what's going on? Everybody's saying all these amazing things about you. Why are you crying? And Bob looks at David and he says, I have been at this company for 47 years. I am retiring in two weeks. And I never knew that anybody felt this way about me. I still get goosebumps uh, when I actually share this story. Imagine giving your entire adult working life to an organization and not knowing that you're feeling recognized or appreciated. And David told me this story and he felt like he got just punched in the stomach. And he decided that from that point forward, he was never going to be a part of an organization that didn't recognize and reward and put its people first. And when he became the president of KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, he created these recognition awards for his frontline employees, where when an employee would do something great, he would give them a rubber chicken, he would write down what the employee did to deserve that rubber chicken. He would give them a $100 gift card and he would take a picture of the employee and the rubber chicken and himself and he would hang it in his office. And when he became the president of Pizza Hut, he did the same thing except he would give employees these big cheese hats. And when he became the CEO of Yum Brands, he would give employees these wind up teeth. And again, he would tell employees what they did to deserve it. He would number it, picture, $100 gift card. And what I love about this story and how it impacts corporate culture, even on the front line, is that David didn't have to get permission from anybody. As an HR leader, as an executive at your organization, you don't need permission to recognize your people, to say thank you. You don't need permission to do that. So one of the best ways that you can impact corporate culture, even on the front line, as David did with his almost 1 million employees around the world, is to create that culture of recognition to create that culture where you see people, you thank employees, and you let them be visible. So this is corporate culture. And it's again, one of my favorite examples of um, creating that corporate culture, even on the front line. Hey, it's just a quick reminder to check out my brand new PDF, thefutureemployee.com, which looks at how employees are evolving and changing and what you as an organization need to do to evolve and adapt. You'll get a complete breakdown of what that evolution looks like, as well as action items that you should be taking. It's an invaluable resource and you can grab it at thefutureemployee.com. Again, that's thefutureemployee.com.